Hi guys, I'm Claire and I'm about to go buy a bucket. All right, so I went into Ace, I got my bucket and I got a lid for it. And then the guy was really nice. He just cut me off a hunk of window screen from some they had in the back that they don't sell anymore. He didn't charge me for it. It's a pretty good sized piece too. So what I'm doing today, even though I need to be filming a dairy video for the series I've been doing, that'll be coming, but I have been struck by inspiration. So I'm gonna go into my yard and dig around a little bit and see if I can't come up with some clay dirt. I came home and a wild Matthew appeared. Yeah, I'm doing taxes. <laughs> yeah, you're responsible. I'm digging in the dirt. <laughs> So I've got my dirt here, as you can tell, or maybe you can't tell, there is a lot of clay in it already, which is exactly what I was looking for, but there's also like leaves, little pieces of root, and just like generally crap we don't want in here. So I'm going to fill it up with water, and I'm going to see if I can't turn this into more of a slurry and try to filter out just the clay. I don't know how well you can hear me because the wind is blowing a little bit, but I've got my bucket of dirt here and I've decided to mix it in a wheelbarrow Ow. because uh, my bucket's really full and I don't know that it would work real well in here for the first mix. So. Got that there, and then I got some water out of the spigot. I don't know how much water I'm going to need. Probably about twice this much. Uh, but I'm going to mix it real quick. Sounds like I got a leak. Oh yeah, we got a water leak, <laughs> so that's great. Uh, but I got my little rake here and I just want to like combine this clay in with this water as best I can. So you can see I've got quite a few chunks and roots and stuff. That's all okay. I'm going to filter all that out. Right now I'm just trying to break up the chunks. So I've got it about as mixed up as I think I'm going to get it. There's, there's a few clods like this, you know, and I can mix those up a little bit. I'm just crushing them by hand and stuff. But um, overall, it's pretty well mixed. And you can see it's really dirt heavy, and that's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna break up a couple clods by hand and then Matthew's gonna come out and hold the mesh while I pour this back into my bucket to strain out some more of this organic material. Matthew's here, he's gonna help me and we are going to bucket by bucket, I'm gonna use this little red bucket to pour stuff from the wheelbarrow over the mesh and into this bucket to let it settle. Have to 
All right. So I'm completely filthy. Matthew is also pretty filthy. Uh, I've got my five gallon bucket fill a quarter inch to the brim. So the next step is I'm gonna let it sit for probably a few hours. I could let it sit overnight. And then I'll come out here and all the heavy stuff, and we've, we've filtered out, you can see on my hand, there's a lot of uh, sand and stuff. So we've filtered most of that out. We've kept the fine particles of the clay and some of the finer grains of sand in the dirt, the dirty water. And what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, pour the water off the top as the heavier particles settle to the bottom. And then that is what we're gonna start working into our clay. It's been about two and a half hours or so. And I don't know how much you can see or hear because it is dark and it's also raining a lot. My head's getting dripped on. Uh, and it's probably dropped 15 degrees easy. It's really cold out. But we've got a big, huge, king-size pillowcase courtesy of our friend Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. Thanks so much. Um, and now I'm gonna pour off the water from the top of the five gallon bucket and whatever's left on the inside is going in here. We're gonna hang it up for it to drip for the next couple of days. So the way that I can tell that this is ready was that when it was fully mixed together, it was really highly pigmented mud. So now I can poke my finger in it and it's not highly pigmented anymore. So I'm gonna skim the top and when it starts getting to a slurry, um, then I'll stop pouring it, and that slurry at the bottom is what we're putting in the pillowcase. So I've got my pillowcase over it. is going to be in the bottom. Probably mostly sand, if I had to guess. Oh, so heavy. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Still really, really wet, obviously, but that's why it's going to drip dry for a few days. There is a fair amount of clay in the bottom. It's a little bit on the sandy side, but Overall, it's way more sand than clay, or way more clay than sand, rather. So I'm gonna grab my little spoon, and I'm just gonna scoop it out. After a quick reality check and a discussion about physics, my initial plan of nailing this huge heavy bag up to the rafter, uh, I, I decided not to do that, uh, because if I run a nail through here, it's just gonna tear the fabric and it's gonna fall and this big messy waterbed is gonna explode everywhere and all the hard work will have been for nothing. So we took two milk crates and stacked them on top of each other and at least for the first day or two, that's where this is gonna live. There we go. That will allow this to drain and have airflow all the way around without sitting on the ground and I don't have to hang it anywhere. Ultimately, I still do want to hang this up, I think. We'll see how this milk crate option goes, but at least for right now, while it's still so heavy and so waterlogged, I think this is going to be the way it has to go. All in all, I think we probably only spent about five hours or so on this project. I'll be interested to see after all the water comes out how much clay I'll actually be able to work with, but you'll have to check back for that in a future video when I will try to make a pot or something out of it. In the future, you'll also see me try to do it up in a ground kiln and I'll even glaze it with stuff also from my yard. But in the meantime, I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around. Bye. Bye.